we want to go back to that powerful moment where a reporter pulls a woman from her car stuck in flood water from Hurricane Ian. Many of you here in Milwaukee might recognize that reporter as Tony Atkins, born and raised right here in Milwaukee. Tony is working for our sister station, West 2 News in Orlando. He's going to join us right now, Tony, from our sister station in Orlando. Tony, what was going on before you rescued the woman? Yeah, well, uh, as you saw there, there was a lot of flooding on that road. That's or Orange Avenue in downtown Orlando heading into south downtown. And it was just all flooded. And I was out there doing live shots all across town in the downtown area. And it was there were a lot of cars driving really close to that water. There. One truck tried to drive through. It almost got stuck, but it barely made it through. And then others I was just telling to turn around. And on the other side of the water, uh, me and our, our photographer, we were working and the, the car just comes through. We see the wave of water. My photographer's like, hey, did somebody just drive up to the water? Or like, see, we just saw this wave. And then at that point, um, I walk out, I get out. The car is in the middle of the road. It stops. And then all of a sudden, the window comes down and a hand comes out. And I hear the words like, help. And I'm obviously, you know, at that point, you just got to help. But the thing is, I think we want to be clear is, you know, obviously that was very risky. Um, and I would have deferred to like law enforcement, first responders, but even they were driving around because this area is right next to a hospital and they were all taking detours. So it really wasn't a lot of people over there to help. So, um, so I just figured that I would just try to get in there as quickly as possible and get her out as soon as I can. And Tony, no one is going to shame you for carrying a purse for the rest of your life. Uh, what was it like when you were walking with the woman on your back? What's the conversation like between you and her in that moment? There is no conversation. I, she handed me the purse. That was the first thing. So as soon as um, she, as soon as I got to the car, the first thing she did was she let her window down and her hand was out. And then she handed me the purse. And initially, I'm like, okay, well, but you know, we're gentlemen, and I'm in the south. So I'm like, all right, well, I got to take this purse. I'm not going to let it get wet because clearly she handed it first. But she got on my back, um, and then that's when I walked her back. Um, so, yeah, it was just, uh, you know, um, I just had to do it. That's what she wanted, and um, turns out she was on her way to work. Um, so um, one more thing I do want to kind of note just real quick. Uh, among those people that were almost driving into those floodwaters, there were two people, um, one woman that was having an emergency trying to get to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Then there was this man who was with his husband driving her to deliver a baby. So that's like another element to this. Yeah. So at that point, that's when I decided to kind of spring into action this third time. Um, so it was just a lot going on. A lot of people were trying to get to that hospital during this hurricane. I'm sure this woman so grateful that you saved her and her purse. And we have to know, what did your family say when they saw you in this video? I haven't talked to my dad. My dad's probably hearing this story from me for the first time. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to you. My mom, I don't think she was aware, but my sister has been the one in Boston just all over this and just making sure that I was okay. Now, obviously, my parents mm -hmm. care and they were worried. Mm -hmm. um, Derek, you'll have to go check on my mom. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but anyway, she, um, she, she, she was proud when she heard about it. Not, um, not this a, might be her first time seeing the video. Though, not honestly. a problem. Uh, you know, I've met your mom and dad. I know they are extremely proud of you. Um, and, and we were talking with Hannah Hilliard earlier, and uh, there was a moment where he said that God put you in the right place at the right time. You just recently moved to Orlando, and, and that was your moment. Can you talk about that? You know, absolutely. You know, I just, I felt like, you know, over the course of the past few days here in Florida, in Central Florida, you know, I care about the Milwaukee community and I'm really starting to build that rapport with the folks here in Central Florida. I just see a community that really cares for each other, right? And uh, people just sticking up for each other. And it's really just this infectious sense of community that I still have for the city of Milwaukee um, that I, I sense here. And just whether, if it was like efforts to make sandbags to like, put them and protect your house, people were really helping each other. That was just happening all over. And I know we're in like very divided times 
on certain you know fronts um, of society, but um, but this was just really an opportunity for everybody to come together. So I, you know, obviously I feel like you know leaving home was tough for me, but I feel like uh, I feel like you know just God will put me in the right place. And I feel like, you know, being here and just being at that moment at that time, and turns out she was a nurse. So her job was to save other lives, you know, and she had to be to work. So I just felt like God just kind of, you know, just moved me there <laughs> through my assignment editor. And, um, <laughs> and, it, and, and that's just what it was. And real quickly, Tony, have you had a chance to speak with her since all of this has unfolded? No, her children reached out. Uh -huh. um, I did find out that she walked the rest of the way. Mm. Wow. From I don't know how far that is because I'm still learning Orlando, but I think they said it was about maybe six months. I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but she said it was probably about five, six months. Well, Tony, awesome. thank uh -huh. you for being in the right place, the right mm -hmm. time, and, and, and answering the call in, in your gut and in your spirit to just help out in any way you can. Saving that woman in her purse. It's good to see you. <laughs> Good to see you guys, too. I'll see you soon. Yep, we'll talk later. Thanks, Tony. Yep.